for a process that can cost you or make you hundreds of thousands of dollars or more typically thousands of dollars in the traditional, you know, for modern cards, there needs to be a science. There needs to be a standard for every grader to follow. And that's what Mike and I created. Until COVID started, we didn't realize the importance that grading had on cards. You have to have it authenticated and graded by one of the grading companies. And that's how you get the max value for your card if you sell it in an auction house. You would have to wait a year and a half just to get a card back from some of these companies while paying hundreds of dollars per card on some of these cards. Humans were just looking at these cards that could be worth a million dollars in a 10 and a hundred thousand dollars in a nine and giving it a grade based on their opinion. It's a human bias, a human judgment. And humans, as we all do, myself included, make a lot of errors. What we generate from this laser scanner is firstly a luminance image. We can see the contrast here, which is very useful for identifying defect. However, it's not enough. So what we need to add to this is the height map component. So what we do with these images is we feed both of these images into our AI. Our AI will not run without the height map and the luminance image. So an awesome feature of the height map is that we can, within 25 microns, identify uh, spatial differences along the X and the Y and the Z. So that means like depth and along the, the surface area of the card. This data alone is enough to authenticate cards. This is a Pokemon card. So you see all the scratches here? Yeah, scratches, scratches, scratches. All these scratches all over the card. And we have this, these little blobs, right, that appear. These blobs are auto-generated. If a human came in here and reviewed it, they could see like this blob could be better. We can make it bigger and nicer. And when we feed the AI over and over again, one of the pieces of work that we do is fine tune this. You know, we constantly do reviews of the AI to improve it. And currently, this is a card that is very, there's a lot of defects. So on such cards, we have um, basically accuracy, like improvement opportunities. And also for new cards, like that were just released. Overall, we have around a 95% accuracy for uh, the overall grade, which is, we're pretty happy with. There's no bias involved at all. There's no human emotion. There's no human errors. This is something like this, a uh, grading card should be completely scientific. That's kind of why people are sharing, uh, going, going with AGS, because they believe and they trust AI or computers to grade their cards over humans. I would think it's actually more time consuming right now for us because one, we have eight subgrades, which no other company has. So we have four subgrades on the front, that's surface, centering, edges, and corners. And the same way we have those four grades on the front, we also have the four grades in the back of the card. We also have to upload the scans, the imaging to our server. We have to process the results. So there's a lot more steps involved compared to a traditional grading company where they have one human looking at the card. Technically, our process is much more tedious and much more time consuming, but I think as our technology scales and we continue investing more and more time and resources into our tech, our automation will make our grading process even faster than the human grading process that other companies have. We see a lot of people, very smart collectors, they send it to us because they know they'll get the cards back quickly and actually they sell their cards for much more than someone that sends it to a different company but gets it back two, three months, even if it sells for 10, 15% more. For a process, that can cost you or make you hundreds of thousands of dollars or more typically thousands of dollars in the traditional, you know, for modern cards. There needs to be a science. There needs to be a standard for every grader to follow. 